So he was oh, hi, everyone. Like, um, so I completed the tutorials for the PQ-1500, my little friend here, but it was very difficult to get a good angle of the threader at work. So Shauna is my assistant today. Oh, hi. And she's <laughs> going to help me get in close on the needle threader. So um, when you're getting ready to thread, two things have to happen. You have to have enough thread and your take-up lever has to be in the highest position. The needle threader looks a little bit different because the PQ doesn't thread from front to back, it threads from left to right. So once you have the take-up lever in the highest position and you have enough thread to thread with, then you're gonna put your presser foot down because that stops the thread from going um, any further. You're gonna bring the needle threader down and you'll notice right here that it has a little red nub on the side of it right there your thread needs to go underneath what not under there we go your thread needs to go underneath that little red nub let's get it really close underneath okay so then i'm going to bring my needle threader all the way down and i'm going to bring it through my needle and then you're going to come over and you can feel it catch and then you're simply going to pull the thread through the needle so it gives you like a loop that goes through the needle you have to feel i'm going to do that again um, you have to feel when it catches um, in the needle threader so it's a really it's similar to a lot of the um, needle threaders that are on the machines that don't have the push button lever you have to come between the teeth and then you'll feel there's a little hook in there that grabs it and then let go so that it can pull it through my cotton thread kind of got shredded there. Which may happen to them too. Yeah. So I'm going to take that out. I've got my presser foot. I'm going to try to one more and I'm going to try to get this angle right my here. My presser foot's <laughs> up. So I'm going to get some fresh thread here and I'm going to cut, cut the icky part off. And then I'm going to put my presser foot down so that my thread doesn't pull too much and then I'm going to bring my needle threader down and I'm going to make sure my thread is underneath the little red ball. I'm going to bring the needle threader over, make sure that I can feel that it got the little hook there and then I'm going to let go and let it pull me a loop of thread that goes through the needle. Beautiful! So it has a little bit of a learning curve but if you take your time and go slow you'll get it. Yay! Yay. Well, Still my favorite baby. <laughs> <laughs>